Have you been involved in the Big Bend Open Road Race yourself before? Yes, I've run it several times. Uh, there's, you need to run the route uh, like you're going to do today. Of course, pass the tech inspection and then just run it at the speed limit. But it's going to be important on all the curves and the little hills to know where they break at the top. Yeah. Either right, left, or you can stay straight because you're driving the whole road. So you're saying going over the blind hill, there's some blind hills. And there's there's several blind hills. And of course, it uh -huh. doesn't make any difference when you're running 75 or 80 at the speed limit when you're running 100 or 150 mm -hmm. you've got to know which side of the road to be on and of course on that highway like all highways there's a crown okay so you need to be you need to be conscious of that also which is honestly why we're here is we're running a little bit lower than anticipated exactly and if we didn't have <laughs> but i didn't know dave from the boosting the boosting days of uh of, of being one of our first distributors in the area, uh, we'd, be in, we'd be in pretty bad shape right now. Well, we got, uh, of course, we run Corvettes, Vipers, and um, uh, souped up Mustangs. And everybody runs Boostane because out here in West Texas, all we can get is 91 octane. Mm -hmm. So we need the, we need the Boostane. That, yeah. that uh, Mustang convertible on the other side, that uh, GT350, uh, we have to bring it up. Uh, it wants 109. Oh. Yeah, it's basically a NASCAR built in. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. 1,100 horsepower. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's more uh, compression and everything yeah, else like that. It's pretty strong. Yeah. So, uh, and then when you're running the highway today, come up with the checkpoints. Know where the checkpoints are and yeah. make a note on where you should be at your speed. You know, if you're five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes in, and you'll know, just keep a chart. Yeah. And you'll know, you know, I just usually run three checkpoints. And uh, that way, your, your co-pilot can do that. You keep your eyes on the road and yeah. he'll make a note, okay, slow down, speed up, you're running. Cause he can look at the speedometer and tell where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's target speed and tech speed. Right. Is Tar what yeah, Randy was talking about. And your target speed, do you know, is what? 100, 110, 120? Uh, uh, so for our class, since our first year, we were limited to 125, right. but that's tech. See, Tar that's the Target speed, I think we're, we're aiming for like, 105. Right. So you see, so you can't go over the tech, uh -huh. and there's an under tech too. Which is what normally, like a percentage. I think yeah. for our class there will be no. There's, there there's may no, not be. Yeah, not. Right. There's no tech speed for us because it's our first year. Tech we have low. to run a specific class. Right. And you see, the reason for that is that way you don't get close to the finish line and go, okay, whoa, or really speed up in order to get your time. Yeah. You know, they want it to be an average time, and of course, you're starting from a dead stop. This is an 05 GT. These 05 and 06 GTs were the last year of the big V8s. The new GTs have that V6 turbocharged. Take a look at the license plate while you're here. I get asked that question all the time by tourists and drivers that come in and I said, well, if there's any doubt, what's the fastest car here? You're looking at it. Now this one's been here probably 15 years. For me, being tall, it's not, a, it's not a real fun car to drive. It's easy to get into these cars. It's getting out that's exciting. These cars, when they were made in 05 and 06, did not have the gurney bubble. Uh, super performance and some of the kit car manufacturers that make them, like in the movie Ford versus Ferrari, you know, uh, and because gurney was either 6'3 or 6'4 with a helmet on, so that's why they did that. So let's take a walk. On the television is last year's, this past year's event. We limited it to 75 cars, about 140, 150 people. And uh, here's a picture from the last, oh, in 21. And then here on the table, I haven't framed them yet, are pictures from last year's event. You can go up on our website, uh, www.thestablealpine.com, and we'll have last year's events with a lot of pictures, 170 some pictures. But I tell the guys that come out here, you definitely need to make hotel reservations now and then get registered because we do the cutoff. The beauty about the event is we have silent auction, we have days of driving here in the Big Bend, but any extra money that we take in, we donate to the Alpine Christian School. That's our charity. This last year we gave them over 17000 So Good stuff. Cool. Well, thanks for telling us a little bit about that. You bet.